How's it going everybody? My name is James and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about the Power Stroke engines from the 7.3 to the 6.7. Stay tuned for more. Before we get into the Power Stroke brand name, it's good to talk about the diesels that came before the Power Strokes. So in 1983, Ford started putting diesel engines in their F-Series trucks and the first would be the 6.9 liter 420 cubic inch IDI indirect injection diesel engine. This would be produced by International and it would be a naturally aspirated engine. It would start with 20.7 to 1 compression and be bumped up to 21.5 to 1 compression and its peak power would be 170 horsepower and 315 foot-pounds of torque. Then in 1988, Ford would offer the option to have a 7.3 liter or 444 cubic inch diesel engine. This would also be an indirect injection engine or IDI and it would essentially be the same engine as the 6.9 liter but with a larger bore. It would also be naturally aspirated until 1993 when it gained a turbo but was not intercooled and the peak power ratings for the non-turboed engine would be 185 horsepower and 338 foot-pounds of torque and the turboed engine would have 190 horsepower and 388 foot-pounds of torque. Now we can get into the Power Stroke diesel brand name beginning with the 7.3 liter Power Stroke. This engine would become an option during 1994 and a half and would share the same displacement as the previous 7.3 liter IDI. However, this engine would be completely re-engineered otherwise. It would have direct injection with Huey, and it would have forged connecting rods until 1999. It would also not be intercooled until 1999. It would have power levels of 210 horsepower and 425 foot-pounds of torque. During 1998, the Power Stroke diesel engine would not be put in any Ford trucks. However, for the model years 1999 to 2003.5, the 7.3 liter Power Stroke would be upgraded with a new turbo, upgraded injectors, and they would start coming with intercoolers. However, they would lose their forged connecting rods, but the power would be upgraded to 235 horsepower and 500 foot pounds of torque. Then we have the 6 liter or 365 cubic inch Power Stroke diesel engine. This engine would be produced from 2003 and a half to 2007. It would gain a bump in compression ratio from 17.5 to 1 to 18 to 1. It would also gain a VGT turbo and an upgraded Huey injection system. The power for this engine would be 325 horsepower and 570 foot pounds of torque. However, this engine is known for having reliability issues mainly because of the lack of head bolts. The 7.3 liter had six head bolts per cylinder while the six liter had four head bolts per cylinder. Also the bolts were torqued to yield and they also gained emission systems such as an EGR system which was known to have issues and the oil cooler and FICM could also have issues in these motors. Despite the issues that the 6 liter Power Stroke has experienced, it is possible to make them reliable through aftermarket parts such as ARP head studs. Next we have the 6.4 liter or 390 cubic inch Power Stroke engine. This engine would be produced from 2008 to 2010 and would be based on the 6 liter Power Stroke. However, this new engine would be heavily revised. This engine would have a common rail injection system instead of the Huey injection system. Also, it would gain a compound turbo system which was very unique for its time and still is unique because most diesels in this category simply use a single turbo. The compound turbo system would have a VGT turbo feeding a fixed geometry turbo. Also, the compression ratio would be lowered from 18 to 1 to 17 and a half to 1 and it would gain an emission system such as the DPF or diesel particulate filter and it would have 350 horsepower and 650 foot-pounds of torque. Additionally, these engines are known for easily making power with just a tune. Then we have the 6.7 liter Power Stroke diesel engine produced from 2011 to present. This engine is either a 406 or 409 cubic inch engine depending on which website you look at. 
Also, this engine has been completely redone because Ford is now manufacturing its own engines instead of using International. So the engine has gone through a lot of changes, and some of those changes include having aluminum cylinder heads, having a compacted graphite iron engine block, using a water to air intercooler, and using a dual boost turbo. Also, the engine has gained an emission system, DEF, diesel exhaust fluid, and the compression has been lowered to 16.2 to 1. And when this first engine came out, it produced 390 horsepower and 735 foot-pounds of torque. And now it produces 450 horsepower and 935 foot-pounds of torque. All right, that was a quick rundown of the Power Stroke history. Like it if you liked it, and please subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.